the FDNY's most senior uniformed member, Chief of Department James Leonard, has been pulled from duty following accusations of mistreatment by the department's highest ranking woman. Leonard was removed from his post on Thursday after a meeting with top brass at FDNY's headquarters in Brooklyn, a department source tells Daily Mail. First Deputy Commissioner Laura Cavan lodged a complaint with FDNY Commissioner Daniel Negro against Leonard. While the exact nature of the allegation is unclear, it had to do with insulting language and inappropriate behavior by Leonard. While a review is conducted by the city's law department concerning allegations of inappropriate behavior, Chief James Leonard has been relieved of his duties as chief of department effective today and placed on modified assignment, the deputy commissioner of public information Frank Gribbins said in a statement. In the meantime, Chief of Operations John Sugnick is serving as acting chief of department, the statement concluded. While it was not clear when the inappropriate behavior and insulting comments were made or their specific nature, Leonard's removal does not come as a surprise to those familiar with him. A source adds that Leonard's reputation preceded him, and it wasn't just women that took issue with his treatment of them. Share this article Share civilians and uniformed members alike were not spared from Leonard's sharp tongue. The chief of department is the FDNY's highest-ranking uniformed member just beneath FDNY Commissioner Negro's position. Leonard was appointed to chief of the department in 2014 and joined the FDNY in 1979. He led Greenwich Village's Battalion 2 during the horrific events of 9-11s. Kavanaugh is relatively new to the department in comparison, joining the FDNY in 2014 as the Assistant Commissioner of External Affairs. She was promoted to First Deputy Commissioner, the second highest-ranking civilian post under Negro in January of 2018.